extra. Put it down, lean in and up, down and out, in and up, down and out, do that a few times. It'll start to go on center all by itself. It's harder to center just holding it in one place. And you never want to kind of do it this way where you can't see what you're doing. You want to be able to see that clay. So working it down like that with the other hand, working it up. You can really do it with one hand if you choose. But you notice my left hand, my left arm is on the leg and into my hip at the same time. That's the most stable position you can have. So as I do this, center it wide and low, this will be my third pull. So this one's going to go all the way to the finish. Left thumb, right middle finger, go down until it's about three-eighths of an inch thick. Check the bottom. I've been doing it 40 years, I still check the bottom. Somewhere in there, three-eighths of an inch. Then I come towards me, keeping it level, almost as wide as I centered it. So out to there. Compress it with the rib. This is why you have to do it so many times. You hardwire it into yourself so you don't even think about each step. And if you're not thinking, then you're just doing it automatically, and that's what you want, so it's not a lot of effort to do. And this brings it in and overhangs it, much like if you went down with your thumbs and went out that way. So now I'm going to push with the right hand, start squeezing when I start moving. And remember, it's like double the thickness down here. Set that rim, press in maybe a quarter of an inch down there, press out until you see it bulge. Once you see it bulge, you keep the relationship, thumb below, thumb is right on the wheel head, inside hand is above on that bottom, and you do your second pull. It's still thinner here and thicker below there, but not as much. So my last pull, I'm going to press in just slightly there, press out more so I get a bigger bulge. And here I'm going to get right over the top of it and try to pull it straight up. So that should be your little low wide cylinder, doggy bowl, kitty dish, whatever you want.